from one, your commentary with Strongside and Wonderboy. Thank you, Axel Toss. And yes, you guys were just talking about Envy making quite a run right now that they'll have to be on, winning three matches today. And then to get to the grand finals, they'll have to win two more matches tomorrow. But it's down to this match right now. Wonderboy, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good, man. I mean, we just saw Fabi from the European side take a series here at Worlds. Let's see if Supremacy can do the same. They took a game off Crowd Pleasers and Optic Gaming yesterday. Obviously going up against top tier North American competition once again here in this series. We'll see, man. It's going to be tough for them. Envy, they're, they've got their sights on a losing oh, bracket run, and you can man. see Snipe Down is already so hot in this game. Yeah, great shots there from Snipe Down as he makes his way towards bottom middle. That's going to be one down for Supremacy as another player has to back down as he's one shot, but Snipe Down making a push as he's got Mikwin up at top middle with Camo and Railgun taking down Fragger. That's going to be three down for Supremacy. Snipe Down pushing into the base, getting ready for this flag run. Mikwin trying to find this last player here but snipe down's gonna get pegged by him snipe down goes down but you know what there's another player right there to rally this flag back and that's gonna be who all the way back into the base capping flag number one envy is up one to zero yeah so tough to play against this envious team if you're supremacy you absolutely have to get everything going your way you cannot surrender a camo railgun to the likes of mikwin he will make you pay hook is still alive he'll go down but guess what mikwin's still alive with this railgun here as well you can't let this man do this if you're supremacy you have to have absolutely everything going your way he will tag solo right there try and make it two in a row almost gets the double kill right there in oh. fact this is the beat down oh my word punisher punishing that player right there mikwin finally goes down 10 30 left on the clock and that was supremacy's chance to push you can see punisher here after he got that kill immediately setting his sights on getting into envious's gen but the rest of the supremacy players apart from slg are trapped in their own base so very important that SLG stays alive right here with top control. You can see in the kill feed, Solar chiming in with a kill. That's going to be the spring for SLG to push forward right here and try and find more envious players. SLG narrowly dodges a ground pound, stays alive and gets some help from Punisher to take down Pistola. Snipe down on the other side is able to pick up a kill as well. But that's going to be two down for Envy, two down for SY. Can they potentially get into that base? And it doesn't look like it by the looks of that kill feed. Three down for Supremacy. Solar trying to stay alive, wait for his teammates to spawn up, but that's gonna be Pistola. Noticing that situation, that he can play a bit more aggressive there to pick up that final kill. And now we've got Mikwin with camo, with Railgun, ready to go on a terror once again. Back to back, camo Railguns for Mikwin. Supremacy, you can't let this happen. Would not be surprised if Envy get a few slays right here and then get a flag capture on the board because Mikwin, he's always going to put this railgun to use. That's a kill on Solar right there. And with still top middle control, he doesn't have to flag. He can still hit shots with this railgun from top middle. Finally shut down by SLG right there. That was a big kill. And now with SLG with top middle control, they can maybe start to put some things together. But Snipe down, he's going to chime in with a double as well. And he's already advancing here onto the supremacy base. He knows there's a player in the gen, which is a really tough position to, to play against when you have a player locked in their own gen it's really tough to get him out right there because you can see there's so many options you can do by pushing out we'll swap over to pistola haven't seen too much of him so far this series obviously we are still in game number one but this is a man who likes to flank around a lot known for his world-class movement so we'll see if he puts this to use starts flanking around against this french lineup all right well it looks like envy does have control right now and it looks like they're taking over that's three down for supremacy pistola making a move towards the base but he's going to take it slow as there's no teammates nearby to push into the base picks up a kill but he'll get tagged by fragger as he goes down railgun coming up here in 15 seconds camo right behind it in about 20 to 25 seconds as well hook making his way into the base he does have snipe down on the other side to finish up punisher Railgun up in less than five. Hook trying to finish off this kill, but Snipe Down falls on the other side. So if Hook goes down, this flag run is not going to happen, but he's able to pick up a kill, at least get a trade, which is a massive play from him, keeping these guys back in their base. Supremacy on the other side. SLG making a move. He's got the flag to the 50-yard line, not able to pick up that kill. Harry, what are you seeing right now? Well, I was going to say, not only is the gen such an incredible defensive position, but look at this. 
Nice! Make one with a third Railgun camo combo in a row. That's madness. He's picked up four kills in a row. One more, and that's going to be a killing spree. Mikwin is the star player so far in this game. He has around 30 seconds left of this camouflage. But yesterday, he was playing so good. There is the killing spree. He's continuing his form here in day number two. He wants to make sure Envy complete this loser's bracket run and win the Halo World Championships. He is on his Whoa! terror with the ground pound on Solar. Mikwin is on fire right now. Three camo and rail guns in a row, like you said. Their power weapon control and power up, up control is impeccable right now. Snipe down. Normally the Slayer, he has been moving a lot of objective. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get that flag back as Punisher and his teammate get that quick return on that flag. They're, the reason they're able to get that quick return is because when you have multiple players on that flag, that flag returns a bit faster. So in a scenario like that, it's definitely a good play call by Supremacy to get a few bodies on there to get that flag back to their base. Railgun coming up in about 30 seconds. Now we see Supremacy controlling top middle. They just need to stay alive and pick up a few kills here. Let's see if they can do it. Yeah, that Railgun coming up in 20 seconds, like you said, Mike. That's going to be very important that Supremacy get that because we've seen so far in this game, Mikwin with the camouflage and the railgun three times in a row. You need to break that spell of possession if you're Supremacy because right now, Envious, they are bossing this game. I actually want to swap over to that side. It's going to be Pistola and Mikwin. He has Mikwin behind him in his own gen, backing him up right here. But look, that's another railgun. Four in a row now for this Envious side. They are on fire so far in this game. Six minutes left on the clock. I'm going to look across the board to see who's going to be the man to pick up the camouflage. Looks like it's sniped down to pick up that one. He is at top middle already, but you've got to say with Envious already having top middle control, already having the first three camouflages of this game, it's going to be them to grab this once again. Still looking at this matchup, a lot of people predicted Envy to come in swinging and end this match fairly quickly, but Supremacy is putting up a damn good fight right now. Snipe down, getting some help from Hook. Finishes off SLG there, top middle, but look at this, Snipe down, just doing his best to hang back and stay alive with this camo. Yeah, so some very important things that are happening right now. Currently, Huke is actually moving the flag across the map, but wouldn't be surprised to see Mikwin with the Railgun actually swap the Railgun over to Snipe down. In fact, Mikwin's just going to continue his performance, and this flag is already being moved here from the Envious side. It's going to be Pistola who's going to put this one in. That's going to be 2-0 to Team Envious. Great plays from Team Envious. Definitely feeling very confident right now. They got a, quite a bit of time left though, so one more cap or they got to turtle up and play defense. And you know, Team Envious, they are not the type to turtle up. That's not the way to go. Snipe down with a double kill in the kill feed. A two for one trade. That's three down for Supremacy. Pistola's pushing up. We're going to see that next camo come up in about 40 seconds as well. Pistola blocking the spawns here by the Blue Vat, forcing Supremacy to spawn back in, deep into their base or over by the treehouse and getting these great sight lines. Look at this. Mikwin, snipe down, snipe down. Three down for SY. Pistola in a prime position. Snipe down in a prime position to get into their base potentially and then get a flag moving. Snipe down just making sure this fourth last player isn't just crouching or hiding around over here. They haven't locked and located him just yet, but it doesn't matter because they are slaying the other three guys over and over and over again. Yeah, it's Hook running the last flag. He will actually miss that one, but looking at the slays at the moment, Envious almost paused Positive 30 over Supremacy. This is the third and final flag, but no, it's stopped. That's going to be SLG chiming in with a kill. He'll, he will actually go down. Fragger is the man still trying to put they Slay on the, the board. Return. That's insane. SLG was hiding in the base all along. They didn't know where he was, but he was in your own wow. base. And they're about to get a counter cap right here. Getting that flag all the way back. But Hook, if he's got anything wow. to do about it, he is going to stop that flag. Hook's staying alive, getting the return. That's going to be two down for SY, but now two down for Envy. How does but this happen? Hook, excuse me, this is Mikwin with another railgun camo combo. This is ridiculous. This is the fourth railgun camo, the fifth railgun in the game for Mikwin, and the slays right now just heavily in favor of Team Envious. You can see his day one stats. He's continuing that performance here in day number two supremacy. They are cannon fodder to this man, and you can see him already scoping out spawns. Two, make it three overextenders here for supremacy. It's going to be Pistola running the flag in. That KD is definitely going to be going up a bit from this game alone there. 
taken down by Punisher with that perfect shot there. But look at this, Pistola's got the flag back in the base, ready to close it out. Team Envious taking game number one, three to zero. A lot of Team Envious fans in the building. They continue a pretty good performance here on day number two. Obviously yesterday didn't get the results they wanted to, but uh, made very short work of Supremacy in that game. 87 kills total for Team Envious to Supremacy's just 54. And you know what's absolutely crazy? They got 16 power weapon kills with the Railgun, and most of them coming out of Miku. And I actually want to see, 14. look at those! Oh 14. my word! That's ridiculous. 14 Railgun kills and not a single power-up grab from Supremacy. Wow. Incredible plays. Mikwin is just picking up kind of where he left off yesterday. A lot of people were talking about how great this man was playing yesterday. So he has come to win today again. He is making sure that he is not going to be the reason that they lose a match. He is doing everything in his power. <laughs> Camo and Railgun. One right after the other, picking up the ground pound, just putting on, I mean, some of the shots that he was hitting was great, but I mean, he was just playing, just very buttoned up Halo, getting control of top mid, getting the power up, the power weapon, constantly, consistently, over and over and over again. But you also have to give a shout out to their coach, Alumni. Alumni is on top of these guys, being that voice in their ear to remind them on those moments where they may forget about Camo or they're not setting up. Alumni, he is the fifth man. This man used to be a player, a pro player, and now he is helping lead this team to victory. Yeah, he is, but the man on your screen had an absolute star performance in the last game. 25 and 10, a positive 15 spread. Those 14 railgun kills really helping his team out to win that game. Fathom is so hard to play against a team that has constant railgun control and is constantly pinging you from up high, taking you down. And you can see, just looking at his stats from the group stages, his, his group was pretty stacked, man. And he's still going positive throughout his group. That's pretty scary. Yeah, and to quick note on Miquid and Pistola, we've talked about it a little bit, but if you haven't heard these guys last year, they didn't make it to the Halo World Championship Finals in 2016. Almost didn't even make it into Pro League, right? Almost didn't make it into Pro League as well. A lot of people kind of put Pistola and Mikwin out of the top player mix, but those two guys, they banded together. They found a way to make it back up to the top. They got a squad, assembled a god tier squad, and now they're here. They've taken down Optic in the past. They've got a long journey ahead of them. Going up against Supremacy right now, if you're on the other side, Harry, what are you thinking if you're Supremacy? So we've spoken a lot about Team Envious. Supremacy going into this next game, it is going to be Coliseum Slayer. And for those who don't really know that much about Supremacy, their star player is SLG. On the European scene, this man doesn't ever seem to miss snipes. Had a little bit of, a, bit of an off performance yesterday on the Bravo stream wasn't having the best of time with the snipes. So would actually like to start this one off with SLG, but he's going up against one of the best snipers in the world, Snipe Down. If you know Halo, you know that name. I need to say no more. So SLG versus a Snipe Down is gonna be a fun one to watch battling over this sniper. And you can see SLG's intention straight away going for that weapon. SLG has got his eyes on the prize right here, but that sniper is going to get grenaded right off that little platform right there, down to bottom lift. Snipe down does sense the presence of that sniper right below him. And let's see if he's going to be able to lock and locate that. It looks like Hook is going to be the one. No, Snipe down does find it. He's going to make sure he brings this back to safety behind his team. We see players constantly find this angle, but also find the angles across the entire map over by Red Elbow or Blue elbow so uh, I'd not be surprised if we saw him take it over there but you know what he does see two kills picked up over oh. on the kill feed finds a player off spawn that's gonna be fragger looks like the spawns over by blue cave are open but he's got a call out here bottom middle and this is a really worrying position if you're a supremacy fan right now seven one down snipe down with a sniper pistola with three rockets left to shoot excuse me I believe he only has two but 8-1 now the score, and wow, this is this is tough for Supremacy, man. They need to slow this game down, but as long as oh, they do that, no. Snipe Down is just going to hit those shots all day long. My word, this man is just a machine, Snipe Down by name. Oh, 
Snipes out Stop by it. nature. Stop this right guy now. is Stop a down. is a freak. That's a Shrek moment right there, in my opinion. And look oh at the kill word. feed. Pistola, rocket kill after rocket kill. These guys are just controlling these power weapons down to the T right now. You got to think if you're Ooh. Supremacy, you are afraid to push at these moments. You're just going to think after snipe downs hitting shots like that, that definitely gets into your head and you don't want to make this overextension and you don't want to challenge him when he's hitting every single no scope like that. He's got his entire team here just giving a lot of protection, but rockets are going to come up. Snipe down's in a good spot to get some eyes on that as well as Pistola's taken down. Let's see if he's going to spot any player up here. Takes a look, but not going to spot anyone. He'll leave that. Looks for a player bottom mid. Two players up top, Rockets. He ends up taking one of them down. One of them sacrifices themselves so the other can get that rocket and get it out of there. So we've spoken a lot about snipe down. He's yet to die in this game, as is Hook, if I'm not mistaken. So Hook also on zero deaths. We have a couple of geese, actually. SLG and Punisher on the Supremacy side. Obviously still early in this game. A lot of Halo left to play. Fragger with the Rockets, though, will finally put an end to Snipe Down's life. Uh, Fragger, excuse me, did just go down, which means the Rockets are actually going to transition into the hands of Mikwin right here. And 22 to 5, this is an absolute beating. Looking forward to see how, how Mikwin uses these Rockets. Obviously, they're already in a commanding position going forwards. Sniper coming up soon, and guess who's in a position to grab that one? It's going to be the man of the moment. It's going to be Snipe down to pick it up. This could be a real montage highlight reel right here. As he picks this weapon up, I want to hear what his teammates are thinking, what they're calling out, what's going on with their chatter. Let's jump into an Astro Listen In with Team Envious. I'm playing blue VR rockets. Blue corner one shot. Blue flag one shot. No blue cave. Yeah, I got him. Another one. No, no ammo in my car. Shot too. I literally, I'm gonna. We're going to corner sniper. All right, I'm going to corner sniper. That's fine. I just kind of want to get fucking this carbine. Yo, on me, red sniper. I'm one shot. I'm one shot. Can't see him. He's top. He's already. He's top pyramid and red sniper. Top. Yo, red sniper weak and blue sneaky. I think. I think. Yeah, he's blue sneaky. Pushing down. You can push the blue side rockets. Yeah, you should try to rescue him. He's blue sneaky. Blue sneaky. He's still SLG. They're gonna push. I say. Rotate around. Grass. Still blue sneaky. Two down in grass. He's pushing me. Push you, I can kill you. Okay, I can no, kill you. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. I got stuck. Rockets, 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 rockets. You rockets are soon. Yeah, you, rockets. Rockets. You, don't have to, you, you don't have to play up there. I'm Yo, red sniper? Yeah, red sniper. I'm dead. I'm going to try to push that rocket. I'm going for rockets fast, Eric. He's on your sticky, on your sticky. Literally, they're running for this. The sticky above me. I'm pushing him. On another one. Awesome. Another one on it. Two on. It's really weak on me. Two got me. He I'm trying to have rockets. Another one push me. I'm pushing. I have rockets. Hold on. I'm pushing. Blue sniper. 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 Blue Blue mid, really weak blue mid, blue mid. Eric, I'm going to take rockets. I'm going back, I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to. All right, all right. I need someone to play my pyramid. I went to the corner real quick. I went to the corner. Yeah, on me. Just push me. I don't want to rock it yet. Nice. Red sniper. Red sniper? Blue sniper. Red flag, guys. I'm pushing red flag. There is a guy. Red sniper amp, though. Yeah, he killed me, dude. Okay, sniper. Rockets down. Watch out, red flag. Rockets down right there. What? Hey, guys. He's one. There you see it, Snipe down, putting on a show. Montage oh. plays right when we come back out of that. Listen in, still hitting every single headshot. This man is truly on fire. You give this man a sniper, he is going to make magic happen with it. 44 to 12 right now. Take a look at the day one stats here in the bottom right. His KD.9 damage. 1953 accuracy, 53%. My God, Snipe Down is unreal. He's only died once so far in this game, but the worrying thing for Supremacy, Punisher especially, he has yet to get a kill in this game. 47 to 14, Punisher on a goose. He has two deaths left. He's died again. Two kills left for Envious, for Punny to get a kill, and that's the goose. It's done. Wow. Snipe Down him. <laughs> You take a look at that face afterwards, too. Snipe Down was a little bit shocked on all those kills. Man, I can't wait to check out those replays because that, how many sniper kills was that? Let's, let's take a look at these stats. Let's take a look at the stat line, see these power weapon kills, see these slays. My gosh, 17. I mean, we were looking at Snipe Down. It looked like he got more than 12 kills. On the other side, Pistola and Hook off screen, 17 and five from Pistola. 15, 11 assists, and three from Hook. Big slaying numbers, and like you said, oh, Harry, yeah. Punisher with a goose. Not the best of performances there from Punisher, especially on the world stage, but 
it was just the snipe down show. I really wanted to see some different points of view from Team Envious, but when this man has this weapon, it's just mesmerizing to watch. Some of the shots he hits is just out of this world. You can see he spins on a pinhead. Right after that clip in particular, he immediately looked back into the base because his teammate was communicating that there was another player there. So not only is Snipe Down's aim on point, he's constantly listening to his team, trusting his teammates, always putting himself in a position that he can help out his fellow Team Envious teammates. Yeah, and there you'll see he began competing in 2008. So this veteran has been around for quite some time. Obviously, by his name, he's always been known to be excellent with the sniper rifle. Always able to pick up wild multi-kills, wild snapshots at any single moment. But that's not to say no one else on his team is able to do that. Hook especially. Hook and Pistola. And actually, let's talk about Mikwin's kills per match. He's at 14.6 kills wow. average Yikes. per game. That's now, crazy. when you look at... The average across the entire tournament, the average is 10.6. Wow. So he is four above everyone else average throughout this entire tournament so That's far. That's just a testament to how strong a player Mikwin is. First two games of this series going dominantly in favor of the North American side team Envious, obviously looking to make a loser's bracket run today. They're starting off very strong here against the French side team Supremacy. Plaza Strongholds is the next game type. Actually quite a strong one for Supremacy, but so far in this series, the boys on your screen, the boys in blue team Envious have been dominating and they have shown no signs of respect to SLG and the Supremacy team. Yeah, if you're on the Supremacy side, that's definitely got to hurt mentally going into this next game. But these are top competitors. These are some of the best players in the world. So dropping that match, you see some smiles there from Supremacy. Oh, Always good to see. It, it doesn't matter. You <laughs> got to shake it off, right? Got to shake it off. Got to shake it off. These are the best players in the world. Sometimes I mean, you just got to go full Taylor Swift, man. Just got to shake it off, you know? Shake it off. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> EU well, banter, man. We, EU I love banter, Taylor Swift. Lol. I'm a Swiftie. EU lol. Huh? EU banter, lol. Yeah, EU banter, lol. All right. Well, let's get right <laughs> into the match. Team Envious versus Supremacy. Game number three. Let's see if Supremacy is able to turn something around and take a game off of Team Envious as Snipe Down picks up the camo, heads straight down to bottom middle. We are playing Strongholds on Plaza. The most important Stronghold throughout this entire game is going to be this bottom middle Stronghold, which you're going to see Snipe Down get contested by a player behind the car, not going to be able to get it. He'll pick up the kill. That's one down. Snipe Down trying to stay alive as well. Gets pinged by a grenade, and he'll go down with the camo as well. But on the other side, we've got Pistola, Mikwin, and Hook picking up control of the nest. Even though there are two members down, there we go. Now we are seeing Solar go for that bottom mid capture. We have three players down for Envy, two guys in that bottom middle hill from Supremacy. They're getting some control. Got the shotgun, blocking these areas to spawn here by the loop as well. So something we see a lot on the European circuit that Supremacy are very good at is teams getting stuck in the yard. But I feel they're gonna come under a lot more pressure from the Envious side. Envious have drilled how to push out of yard when you are in that triple cap situation. You see already there, Pistola pick up a kill. That's gonna leave SLG and Punisher and Fragger, the last three alive here for Supremacy, all trapped at Nest. Miquid takes one down, Huke chimes in as well. Punisher, the last alive for just a moment here for Supremacy, stuck around the snipe lift area. That's he goes down as well. And that's what I was talking down. about. This Envious team so well drilled how to push out of that yard. And now they're the team with total control. Easy stuff there from Envy. A great push from Team Envious, not letting up any opportunity go past them, taking advantage at every single moment. They are holding the trip cap now, and look at that kill feed. SY going down one right after the other. There's only two alive right now, and they've got to stay alive, but look at this. Solar goes down, SLG goes down, and Pistola is headed straight for these guys that could potentially be spawning in cafe or hotel. He is not going to let up. This aggression from Team Envious is very hard to compete against if you're not able to match that. Yeah, camouflage coming up soon. I actually really like that rotation by Pistola through to Blue. He got the call from his teammates that Supremacy were pushing heavily on Nest after getting that snipe lift spawn. But the camouflage has just popped, I do believe. Not sure who's grabbed that one. It's actually going to be Hook from Team Envious. Three down for Supremacy. Sola, I do believe, excuse me, it is Punisher, the last alive for the French side, but he's going to go down. Nest still in the hands of Supremacy, but you can see the nades flying in from the Blue Spawners 
And this should really be an easy capture here for Hook. He does have the camouflage in his possession, but snipe down in the kill feed. Check out those two in a row there with the shotgun. That's actually over in the yard. So I will swap over to snipe down as he's in a prime position to push some of these supremacy spawners and actually play a little bit sneaky right here as well. He does get spotted though, so he's gonna go down. I like that. The, the effort of that play though. They've been playing so aggressive and in your face. He decided to slow oh. it down just a moment, but this one's gonna come back to bite him. Solar with the shotgun now, picking up two kills, staying alive, getting actually, the shield back as one well. One of them was on his teammate actually. That was a barrel kill on his teammate. Oh no. <laughs> Punisher, so yeah, that's an interesting one. Solar is a player for Supremacy who they look to to be an igniter. He's a very strong slayer, but looks like he's being found out a tiny bit here against this North American competition. Supremacy really Really struggling to match the pace of Team Envious at the moment. 68 to 15, Envious with control. Ever since they broke that total control from Supremacy, the French side really struggling to get back into this game. You can see they're trying to make a play on bottom middle right here, but looks like that's easily going to be reset by the boys in blue. I like the effort of that ground pound. Would have been sick if he pulled that off, but unfortunately, you got to try and pick up some quicker kills here and get some control. Ooh. We're seeing Team Envious just move themselves back and forth over from the nest, over from the yard. And they're holding basement and yard right now. This isn't the best, this isn't always the best setup. It's always nice to have nest and basement. And what a play right there. We're gonna see SLG go down right after that as well. But we're seeing the slays kind of go back and forth right now. But if you're team envious, that doesn't matter to you. You can trade all day long as long as you are holding on to two strongholds. And that's exactly what they're doing. They've got Mikwin, they've got Pistola hanging down around bottom middle, making sure that no player is gonna sneak in. Pistola with the camo now pushing up with Mikwin. Mikwin's gonna go down, but it doesn't matter. He's got Pistola to clean up the kill right there. Yes, Mikwin and Pistola die at the nest, but look at this. Nobody is around the bottom mid stronghold. Now we start to see Supremacy make a move for it, but Envious answer right back to get the reset in this match. This game yep. is about to be, it's about to finish right yep. out at I 100 to 15. I mean, look yep. at these guys. It's yes, we're seeing some slays in, but Supremacy is not capitalizing on these strongholds right now. They're just focused on slaying, and that's going to be it. Team Envious taking game number three, 100 to 15. This game and the one before, they are truly showing no mercy. They are coming in guns blazing and making a point right now. I mentioned Solar on the side of Supremacy. He actually is one of those players, as I said, that Supremacy looked to to put up big slays. He actually had 10 kills, almost half of his team's kills in that game. Supremacy just with the 24 between them. Envious really outslaying them, 40 kills for Team Envious, five of which were with the shotgun, and they also had all three camouflages in the game as well. Hook in particular in that game was a standout performer, top slayer in the game by four kills. The young god absolutely turning up here on day number two of the Halo World Championships 2017. One more game, Team Envious. Feeling pretty good right now. All smiles across the board for them. Their coach staying focused as well. Alumni helping that team stay focused on that teamwork, pushing together, helping them make any call outs, miss call outs heard. Sometimes you get a player that's so focused in, but that coach is right there to help you out, to remind you, to make sure you're hearing that call out. Take a look at Supremacy right here. One more game. They could go home. Yeah, and it's looking very likely after what we've seen so far in this series. Obviously, we've seen reverse sweeps in best of sevens before, but this Team Envious team, man, this lineup is a completely different kettle of fish. We saw Solar's the only player from Supremacy actually to have a positive KD. We're always talking about SLG, yeah. but Solar, he's Solar. kind of the unsung hero of this squad. I mean, we saw at London, this guy, put on amazing, amazing stats and just going for the objective. But we don't, I guess we don't give him too much love because he truly, a lot of people know SLG. He's the guy kind of, he's the front facing man of this squad. But let's take a look at these replays here. I mean, just complete control out of Team Envious. It was, and um, coming back to Solar, he is, he, he is the player that really doesn't get enough love. I mean, we saw him, like you said, out at, at Wembley, at the London event for them to qualify for this event. 
he was the player who really stepped up for them, especially in that Game 7 versus Team Infuse to solidify their position here at the Halo World Championship. So I think it's only fair that we start this game off with Solar from Team Supremacy, the French squad one game away from dropping out of this competition. And you can see him on screen right now. He's, he's trying to pull his team through this series, but it's going to be tough to beat a Team Envious team that's so on fire in this series, but also is about to play Truth Capture the Flag, in my opinion, one of their stronger game types. And talking about KD ratio as well, Solar having the only one above one at 1.15. SLG is actually sitting at 0.69 KD ratio, wow. the lowest on his team right now. So not performing the way he would like, but Solar making a push up to pink two. He's able to get a trade, but that's gonna be two down for Supremacy. And we'll see the camo go into the hands of Pistola. We'll get that there, that fixed in just a moment as you see that corrected right now, but Pistola staying alive with this camo, making a push into red two. He's got a teammate nearby, giving him some help. That snipe down, they're able to get two down, but snipe down falls. Player hiding underneath the base, and you're gonna see Pistola drop for that sword. Now, if we see Pistola pick up this sword and get it combined with that flag, that can be a deadly flag run because you go from a 10 second flag run to a possible five or six second flag run. If you get that flag jump rotation going with the flag and it looks like it's about to happen, two down for Supremacy and a different player is gonna pick that up but Hook is gonna let Pistola take it the rest of the way. Pistola tossing it out. Not going to go for it, very wise of him because those grenades and the shots are going to come in. He'll get his shields back and get pegged down to one shot. Still staying alive, knows a player could be in his base, so he's going to take it slow. That player will toss the flag out, that's Fragger. Pistola doing a good job at staying alive, just waiting for a teammate to get the respawn, but Supremacy, desperation, jumping down for that flag and not going to be able to get it. Pistola gets the flag cap. He is making his way back to the other base, getting ready for another flag sword run. Yeah, more of the same business as usual here from Team Envious. Pistola is still alive, don't forget, from when he picked up the camouflage at the start of the game. The next camouflage is actually coming up within the next 20 or so seconds, so it's pretty crazy to think that that's actually Pistola's first death of the game, I do believe we just saw. We'll swap over to Slide Down. Haven't seen too much of his point of view since that incredible Colosseum game, so we'll give him a little bit more love as well. In fact, haven't seen too much of Hook out of this series as well, so I'll make sure I'll queue up his point of view. Four but down. all four down there for Supremacy. Slide Down in a perfect position to run the floor. Flag, but I like this actually. He's going to block these basement spawns. I think he might have some presence over there on the carbine side. Maybe Envious were a little bit worried that they might have spawned in the basement right there. So taking the flag into basement, such a mature play there from Snipe Down. It's Pistola to grab the camouflage. 2 0 now to Team Envious. Snipe Down with an amazing second flag run with the sword and still in control of the camo. Pistola grabs the oh second my. one. Look at this flank here, primed up for a triple kill, but he's just going to opt to try and stay alive wow. finishes off solar with the headshot getting his shields back snipe down nearby hoop nearby they are on a slain fiesta right now look at the collapse here flying into the base of supremacy can pistola finish oh this my. off he gets the help from mcwin that's going to be slg and solar down fragger down last player is up level to the base that is all four down again supremacy cannot stay alive they keep going four down and this looks like it could be it this will send supremacy home team envious will move on as pistola jumps into the attic comes in for the ground pound and he finishes it off team envious move forward wow what a performance from Team Envious. Wiping aside the second ranked European team right there, Supremacy, they had a real rough tournament. They had to play Crowd Pleasers, Optic Gaming, and Team Envious, three of the top five, in my opinion, North American teams. So commiserations to the French lineup. But Hook, the man of the series, he was doing real work once again. Mick Wynn was doing work in that game as well. But what was crazy about that Envious team, that last series was, uh, that last game in particular actually, was the fact they outslayed Supremacy 37 to 12. That is crazy.
Let's take a look at these stats here. Pistola 11 and 1. Only one dead. You know what? Oh, only one death. Yeah, he had just, the breadstick. Just for the, the death. one death. And what's funny about that is the fact he had the camouflage first time around, died just as it was coming up, and then he got the second camouflage as well. So both of his lives in that game were fueled with camouflage. That was that was so cool to see out of Pistola, the sneakiest player from the old school Halo. Talking about titles. the assist stat line here.